Hey, fourth grade, Miss Arsenal here with your week five workout. For this week's workout, you will need two dice. If you only have one, you need to make do with just one. Um, I have a workout here, and it is, um, I call it Dice Fitness, because you need the dice to complete it. Um, what you are going to do is roll your dice um, for a minimum of 10 rolls, and whatever the dice land on, you're going to take the sum of those two numbers, and then you're going to look at your exercise key and complete a particular um, exercise. Um, if you only have one die, then you will roll it twice, take um, the sum of those two numbers, and then complete the um, exercise. So this workout comes to you from Pinterest. Um, from an organization called Keeping Kids in Motion. So shout out to those guys for this handout and this workout. Um, you'll see on this side the sum of the the um, two the numbers on the two dice, and then on this side you will see the exercise. And I'm going to demonstrate almost all of them because um, many of them we have never done before. So I'm just going to back away from the camera to start our demo. If you roll a two, you are going to do 20 star jumps. For a um, star jump, you are going to start in the tuck position and finish in a star or in X position. Okay, down and up. Excuse me, if you roll a sum of three, you will do 20 speed skaters. Sorry, I'm going to do it and start off in slow motion and then speed it up. So, a skater, I'm going to step out to the side with one foot, swing the other foot behind me. Switch feet, and sorry, swing the other foot behind me. Okay. Your arm can also go with you for a little more moment. So one, two, three, four, five. You're going to do that for 20 reps if you roll a sum of three. If you roll a sum of four, you're going to do burpees. Remember, down in the tuck position, out into a plank, back into a tuck, and then finish the next start. Um, you will do 10 of those if you roll a like sum of 4. If you roll a sum of 5, you will do 10 squat jumps. Two options for squat jumps. The way we, we're used to doing them in class, start in a staggered stance, one foot in front of the other, knees are bent, use your arms to swing, land with your feet in opposite position. Okay, the other option is Start in a squat position, jump up, and then back down into a squat. So you have 10 squat jumps when you roll a sum of five. When you roll a sum of six, you have skier jacks. So for skier jacks, your feet are in a staggered stance, one foot in front of, slightly in front of the other. But your feet, there's space between your feet, both um, vertically and horizontally. Okay? When this foot is forward, the opposite hand is going to be up and over my head. Okay? When the foot is backwards, the opposite hand is going to be back behind the right. One, two, three, four. Then you have 25 of those. If you roll a sum of seven, you have 25 jumps. Just two foot takeoff, two foot landing. If you have a jump rope, then you can incorporate that into your workout. Doing that fine. If you roll a sum of eight, then you will do 
what is called a plank to a low squat. So we all know a plank starts from the resting position to here. And we're going to jump your feet again to a low squat. Notice my thighs aren't parallel to the ground. They're lower. So we call it a low squat. Okay? And back. And you have 10 of those. If you roll a sum of nine, you have five push-ups. Remember, flat backs, no mountains or slides. If you roll the sum of 10, you have hip bridges. Okay, hip bridges. So you lay back as if you're doing sit-ups or curl-ups. Arms are straight, feet are flat. Going to press your shoulder blades into the ground and lift your hips up and down. Press your hips on the ground and then lift them up. When you lift up, make sure you're squeezing your glutes and your abs in tight. If you roll an 11, a sum of 11, you have 20 calf raises. Move up and down, up and down, and I challenge you not to allow your heels to ever touch the floor during those 20 reps. Get close to the floor without touching. Um, and the last one, if you roll a sum of 12, you have 10 crab toe touches. So you back down. In crab position, pockets off the floor, and then kick and straighten one leg. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to reach with the opposite hand and try to touch my toes on my extended leg. One, two, three, four, and you have. A total of 10. That's your workout. Zooming in. So you can see again. You can pause the screen. Leave the screen up. So you can see the workout. As you complete your minimum of 10 rolls of your dice. Or you can freeze the screen. And jot down. All the no numbers, 2 through 12, and the exercises with the reps for each. Enjoy your workout.